Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about payslip patches. It's uh, let's start with we'll go to start. We'll go to the payroll because payroll payslip patches can be generated only from the payroll. Hope you are aware that uh, for the payslips we should have the employees properly and their contracts should be referred perfectly. Then only we can create basic patches. Basic patches is nothing but uh, the batch of payslips. So instead of uh, in other ways, we can create payslip one by one as well. So by default, when you open the payroll screen, you will see the list of payslips. So it is not necessary to create every payslip one by one. See, uh, for example, in Union Fire Protection, we have 50 plus employees listed. So we don't need to create 50 times the payslips. So instead, we can create a payslip batch at once. So maybe if we uh, missed one or two, then we may exceptionally do that alone separately. So once you open the payroll, uh, the top menu, the employee payslip is the one by default is selected. So the next is the payslip batches. We'll come, we'll click here the basic patches. Here you can see uh, from the salary in May 2023 for each and every month we have created a basic batch. So the last batch which we created was January 2024. Now we are going to create a basic batch for February 2024. So first we have to create create. So name. So We'll keep the uniformity in naming. So let us see, uh, reconfirm that I just got it. What is the name? Salary for January 2024. That means salary for February 2024. So create. So we type salary for February 2024. So uh, the Union Fire Protection did not. Yeah, following the calendar months, it said it is following January 26 to February 25 as a February month. So I am doing that here. And uh, for the journal, salary journal, there is a journal called the salary journal. So you can control G, remove this. See, you can see employee salary. This is the journal to be selected. Now, so do, you should not take credit note. So here, you can just for this detail, we'll save this. Okay, I will edit it again. Now I'm clicking add a line. It's going to add employees one by one. However, we are not going to do one by one employee details. So, it's, so we are not going to use this method, just we are discarding it. So what's the method we are going to do is, we'll do generate payslips. Click generate payslips. It comes here, this. Here you click a add line. So when you click add line, the list of employees we have created before all are listed here. So the totally it is having 69 employees. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check at the top, it selected all 69 employees. However, uh, some employees are not going to be part of this space list. So we have to unselect what are all the things is not to be added to this space. For example, administrator is just uh, for purpose of administrating the ERP, so it's not available not necessary to bring in here and uh, contract labor there is no contract labor is least necessary here so likewise we need to unselect say for example gadget he already resigned and left so he's not no more in this company list mm, likewise we have to unselect whomever we are not, is not Enrolled to be enrolled to be or eligible to receive salary for February, we can 
remove them and then select the remaining all so so Sami said he left already Salman Khan Hassan he left sales it's a team it's not an individual I just one then Haji Gandhi is not there and, uh, I think one of these person is not available and then but anyway, uh, Neeraj is not there ah, 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 ah. instead of unselecting it I clicked in the center point that's why it comes here so I remove this and bringing adding it again oh. I'm selecting it all again and then selecting administrator contract labor gadget So not there. So I am just selecting remaining all. We can remove some more people later as well. So I'm just added it. And we can save this now for now. And then we can edit and come back again as well. So now I'm, if I'm clicking generate payslip, the payslip will be generated and added over here and we can remove whatever is not applicable at later stage as well so i'm just clicking generate understand hope you understand this everything is added over here now we have to check what's the difference between removing there and here is once we added here there is a number assigned to them this space slip is assigned with one number so of once if you are removing one person from here that means that number we will lose this number so we should have the justification that uh, this number lost because of so and so mistake so if you removed the particular pay slip uh, particular employee already from there that means the number will not be missed the whole number all the numbers will be perfect that's the difference between removing there and removing here. Hope you understand. And uh, if you have any uh, doubts or clarification, please feel free to contact me and post the comments. So I will add a video explaining the uh, issues or the clarification which you require. Thank you.